charcoal burner in the fuller. A charcoal burner carried on his trade in his own house. One day he met a friend, a fuller, and entreated him to come live with him, saying that they should be far better neighbors, and that their housekeeping expenses would be lessened. The fuller replied, The arrangement is impossible, as far as I am concerned, for whatever I should whiten, you would immediately blacken again with your charcoal. Like will draw like. So, uh, talking about, you know, their housekeeping expenses would be lessened um, if they, you know, live together. Um, charcoal burner and a fuller. Um, a fuller... I don't even know what a fuller is. So the fuller, uh, let's check it out. Uh, fuller, um, and then let's look at Aesop's Fables. Let's look at that. Aesop's Fables is so, maybe pa paints paints things white. I don't know what that that means. Uh, let's look at Wiki Source. Uh, I mean, please, someone posted in the b bottom here. You know, this is just proof also that I don't know every single thing. I I should probably do a lot of, you know, homework. I, d I do a lot of research usually. Um, but I just want to show you that, you know, I make mistakes too. And there are things that I, you know, that I don't know. And um, But, you know, you just, you don't know something, you look it up. You poke around, you get curious, curiosity. What is a fuller? So you could, you could say, you could go here, you could say, what is a fuller? What is a fuller? You know, just Aesop's fables. What is a fuller? It's just showing me the, the words. I don't know. Let's look it up. What is a fuller? A person who fulls cloth. Mm. Cleanses wool to the process of fulling. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, this is just sort of an illustration of, you know, if I don't know something and I come across something that I don't know, I just look it up, you know. And now that you got the internet, when I was coming up, um, you know, early, early days of the computer, um... You know, sometimes I had to jump on a, you know, we had encyclopedias. We had these books called childcraft books. We had, you know, thesauruses and dictionaries. We had multiple dictionaries. And, you know, we just had to to, to poke around. And um, now you can poke around on the internet, but just stay curious. I, I think that curiosity needs to be, needs to stay strong, especially when you're long, you're young, when you're learning. But just in general, even if you're old, I mean, you're never too old to learn. Um... So right here, a fuller, a worker who cleanses wool for the process of fulling. Uh, so cleansing wool, it's probably going to be turning it white. But, you know, we, we knew from context what it probably was. It had to do with, you know, turning things white. But now we know, you know, it has to do with wool and, and cleans wool. So the fuller says, the arrangement is impossible. We can't live together. As far as I'm concerned, for whatever I should whiten and clean, you would immediately black it again with your charcoal. Like will draw like. So... It sort of, uh, it sort of states this. This story sort of states that you should stick with folks who, or people who are like, um, who are like will attract folks that are like them. Like attracts like, um, and you know, for for a reason such as this, this this could be a metaphor though. I mean a lot of these these parables, these fables, you know, can can be, you know, double, triple, quadruple, multiple entendres, um, with multiple meanings, and they can be sort of symbolic. So turning something black versus turning something white, or turning everything black versus turning everything white, you know, that's it could be symbolic. It could just it could just be that they're just different. They have different lifestyles, you know, um you know, one of them's a party animal, one of them is real quiet and mellow, you know, or works a lot. Um, you know, the different phases of one's life, etc. So, 
Um, that's what's crucial about reading these fables or any parable, you know, is just to think, think beyond the obvious and think about how it might connect to uh, modern-day society in your own life, etc. All right, thanks a lot, guys.